Hello, and welcome to Sean's Test Bench. Today we're back out at the shop. Um, I still haven't done anything about decorating or uh, making a set here. Uh, I'll be doing something very soon. I just don't know what to do yet. I'm going to try to figure out some way to make this a nicer set. But we'll, do, we'll deal with that later. Uh, today we're working on the red crossbar. We are, I did some things to this that were off camera, so I want to catch you up on it and do a little update. So let's take a look at what we did. I set the GoPro up here, so hopefully it'll, it'll catch some close-ups for you. Okay, here's the side cover that'll be painted today. Get the front cover off. As you can see, I've been working on the inside a little bit. I notched. I notched this out here for the USB cables in the front uh, panel headers. Uh, I notched this here. I drilled this tray out for a hard drive, and I notched here for the SATA power and SATA data. Mm, I think that's about, well, I, I mounted this. This card reader I bought, and I already painted it red once because I wanted to see if I liked the red that I purchased. Uh, if I didn't, I was going to go get a different color red. You know, there's a lot of different reds. But uh, I think this one will work out pretty good. So, as you can see here, this used to mount in the three and a half inch hard drive cage. The USB actually screws to the front. It, it, it was in the cage, but it didn't mount in the cage. This actually mounted in the cage. So I, because the cage is gone, I took a piece of aluminum angle. I tapped into the metal frame, which is fine because the board runs in the center. Short screws will be fine to mount it to the, the memory card reader. And then I'm gonna get shorter screws than what I have here. This is just mocked up. Uh, from the inside, this, all this aluminum's tapped and it just screws and bolts right in where it goes and it's all lined up and it's pretty. As you can see here, this is where all my cables are going to exit down here at the bottom to run along the bottom of the motherboard. That's where my audio, my USB, and front panel headers will, will be. Also out of this one hole in the corner will be SATA power and data for the SSD and the fan, the power leads for the fans. They'll all go into this corner and hide and be real, uh, real nice. So I think that's everything I've done to it uh, that you've haven't seen on a video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tear this, I'm going to clear this all off and I'm going to set up and uh, start prepping for the paint. I just wanted to show you one something real quick is uh, before I start doing the paint prep, I took the screws out of these brackets here and put rivets in. These are steel rivets. I, I do not use aluminum rivets in this stuff because aluminum's too Aluminum rivets are too weak, so I got steel ones. Also replaced the screws down here with rivets instead of screws because these are not coming out ever again. These are going to be painted in black with the case, so they're permanent. Also, with a card reader, I put the rivets here, and I riveted this bracket in. It'll still screw into the card reader here, but this bracket's going to be permanent. There's no reason to, to uh, have screws in them. It really isn't, so. Okay, let's get to paint prep. Okay, uh, I don't really know what to show you guys. Uh, I'm sure you know how to, to sand and paint. Uh, I have 80 grit, 100 grit, and 150. And then for the, the electric sander, I have 120 and 220. Uh, the final will be done in 220 when it's all... Uh, ready to be finished, uh, the sanding, uh, but I'll scuff it up and I'll use 180 on this galvanized. This galvanized metal is not going to want to paint very well. So I'm going to scuff it up real good and I'm using a uh, self-etching primer with zinc in it so that uh, paint will stick to it good. So all I'm going to do is just take sandpaper and go around every bit every bit I can see and scratch every bit of it make sure everything's scratched and scratched good and uh, I'm gonna spend probably a half an hour or more just doing that 
so you can see that. The power sander will be used for the, I got the piece of wood up here for the, the window, but it'll, it'll make a short work of the, the larger areas, the outside of this case, the top, the back, the sander's gonna have to do all that. But uh, on the inside, I just use a piece of sandpaper and do it by hand because it's so small and there's always a lot of nooks and crannies. So I'm gonna get to that. I'll leave it run, the, the camera run for a little bit if you wanna see some, but I'll just run a fast forward or a time lapse or something. So uh, let's get started. We got, I got a long day here. Okay, she's all sanded. The uh, inside and out, the window, the case, the wire management cover, and the hard drive tray. Rust-Oleum self-etching primer. This seems to be the way to go. I put some Bisqueen over top of this. Uh, okay, about the case. I wiped it all down. I wiped all this with uh, rubbing alcohol. I wiped it very good. I wiped it twice, actually, to make sure there was no residue left. Uh, it gets any oils from my fingers, any dirt. It just cleans everything off. Also, I took the compressor, and I beat on this case, and I hit it and banged on it and blew it all out to make sure I didn't leave any metal shavings in it that will later maybe come up while the motherboard's in there and cause problems. So I cleaned out the, the inside of the case very good with an air compressor and beating and banging it around, make sure that nothing stays in there. So I don't think I have to tell anybody really how to spray paint. Uh, read the directions on the can is a good, uh, it's a good inclination, but I'm just going to go ahead and start shooting this stuff and uh, we're going to get all this primed.
So that looks good there. Uh, I'm going to let this dry up for a little bit and uh, we're going to do the other sides and we're going to shoot it and get it all ready. I just wanted to give you guys a close-up. It's all primered. I went ahead and uh, after the primer was dry for a half an hour, 40, 45 minutes I'd say, I went over real lightly with uh, 220 grit and uh, lightly sanded all of it so that it's ready for the black paint. These are all the pieces, inside and outs, primered. Now I believe uh, this goes red. I don't think this goes black. I gotta look at the video of the blue crossbar, but I'm pretty sure this uh, gets painted red. But the rest of this is gonna go black, and I just wanted to give you a close up and, and see how it all is. Okay. Okay, let you guys get a little closer there. I just don't want to get anything on the camera. I need to order some uh, lens filters, or I guess whatever it is, whatever it protects the lens. Uh, I don't want to ruin the lens on this camera because I don't want to buy another one. <laughs> 